Hello, greetings. Uh, I am uh, can't speak, but I've tried to muster up strength. Uh, words may not come properly, come out properly, okay? Please be careful, ex-Muslims, Muslims, these Christians from these Christians on YouTube and others outside who are trying to break the Muslims. Even their Old Testament doesn't make sense and the New comparing it. Uh, Genesis, uh, you can go to Genesis 19 about Lot's uh, daughter. I've spoken in, uh, uh, br briefly gone through it, not in length actually. I couldn't. Um, sp sleeping with uh, their father. And here in Genesis 20 also, Abraham lied to the king. And then the Abraham, uh, and then the king, Abimelech, took the wife of Ab Abraham. Like, uh, you know, I don't know why he lied and all this. I think a reason was given. But then uh, why why did this crazy God, like crazy, crazy God, I, I cannot understand why here uh, God would, uh, you know, threaten this innocent king, Abimelech. So Abraham lied about his wife, Sarah, saying that she's his sister. And uh, Sarah also lied. And Abraham was a prophet, according to the Old Testament, these verses here. Please be very careful, these Christians, uh, they themselves don't know, and they laugh at Muslim things. Oh yes, the Sunni had a ridiculous, very, very, please be careful, they, you know, they're, they're these Christians, uh, they have laughable and disgusting things in the Old Testament. And then all of a sudden the sun and the son of the, uh, the seed of David, uh, Messiah, Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? All these verses you can see. Please be careful. Don't let these Christians break you and then take you. And in the name of love and peace. And uh, Imam Ali took the sword, but our Jesus was so peaceful. And uh, this kind of, and I can even, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting funny. You see me getting funny? I can even like uh, act like uh, Dr. David Wood. And I've got my eyebrows up. <laughs> so this God, I mean, this disgusting God making excuses for Abraham here against King Abimelech in Genesis 20. Please be very careful of these Christians. No excuse. Uh, listen to uh, what Sam Shaman, how he's falsely accused me and how he's been abusing people with such audacity, such boldness, such boldness. <laughs> and um, on Adam, Urdu seeker, YouTube, what lies from eons from years. So, what ridiculous, I mean, God has been uh, making excuses for Prophet Abraham and this innocent king threatening to destroy him and his nation because Abraham lied. I could go on in detail about this. Abraham lied, Sarah lied. Prophet. Prophet's lying and uh, no threat for David in this way. He's raped under duress um, Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah at that time. Killed Uriah or Uriah, Uriah. Okay? Her husband. You can look at that and uh, what is that? Hello, yes, uh, the book of Solomon and uh, the book of Kings in uh, the Bible. Sorry, I just have to give it to you like this. You can search Google search and make my work easy for me, please. And please don't get deluded by these deluded devils. Christians on YouTube also. Thank you so much. See, Iranis are becoming Christians and Christ came and helped us and all this nonsense. Please, Iranians, come out of this nonsense, for, out of the frying pan into the fire. So I'm doing, I did my work on uh, sharing truth against the Quran, 
Shia Islam also. Did Bibi Zainab and uh, Yazid? It was very, very difficult for my heart. You don't know how I had to keep my heart a stone. Okay? Uh, none, zero tolerance for people who make excuses and all this. And don't get swayed by these Adam, Sam, uh, Sam Shaman and Dr. David Wood and the others, P. Fenders, Joe, Jay, and uh, Sar Sira International. See, I'm doing from all sides, like uh, even that I'm a truth seeker, I'm a genuine truth seeker, and be a genuine truth seeker. Don't let these people intimidate you. Don't let, let Sam Shaman, like what kind of a truth seeker is she and she? Please, uh, Iranian, don't go out of the frying pan into the... Don't go out of the fire into the frying pan. Out of Islam into Christianity, please. Please, 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 I beg you from all of my heart, I want you to be free, to think for yourself, decide for yourself. Jiddu Krishnamurti, the best. And then you can even, I advise you to do Muji Baba. Universal truth, eternal truth in us all. We don't need these false prophets and crazy God who, for such punishments, unreasonable, unjust punishments. Soft with King David, hard with this innocent Abimelech, Genesis and Genesis. You can see, you can read. Don't get swayed by these monstrous Christians, missionary, doing their missionary work, hiding their, covering up their ridiculous verses in the Old Testament and in the New. Uh, thank you so much.